to Galley Diaries number three. Is it two? Three. 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 Yeah. Yeah. This Galley Diaries is all about cool food. Yes, it's about crew food. So we're very lucky we have two chefs. I am the head chef on board, Tilly is the sous chef. Uh, so basically I take care of all the management side and my main role is essentially cooking for the guests. And Tilly, I take care of the crew. She's like mom. <laughs> I'd like to introduce everyone, formally introduce <laughs> Here we go. everyone to Matilda. I can't really say where you're from because you're from everywhere. Oh, yeah, I'm a bit of a, a mix. Yes, grew up in France. My mum's English, dad's Italian, was born in New Zealand. So make what you want of it. Speaks four languages. Yeah. Ciao, allora, io sono Matilda. Salut, moi c'est Matilda. Hola, io soy Matilda. <laughs> Pas moi, je sais parler les langues. Je suis professionnelle. <laughs> Come on, you can't put that in there. Why not? <laughs> Anyone who can speak French is gonna be like... Any Frenchies out there? <laughs> Make sure you comment, say <laughs> hi to your, your fellow Nissoirs. <laughs> yeah. So I take care of feeding the crew, um, lunch and dinner. Mm -hmm. Lunch goes out 12 on the dot and dinner goes out at six. Yeah, 14 people every day. 14 people every day. We have um, different dietary requirements that we have to accommodate in the cooking, mm -hmm. and we also have a budget. The lowest budget that I've ever had is 17 euros a day per person. Highest I've had is 25. Um, that's not just food, that's also toiletries. On some boats, that's also uniform. It's all the things in the crew mess as well. Tell us about cooking for crew. So, cooking for crew is all about keeping them happy because obviously it's probably. <laughs> and healthy. <laughs> yeah. and, and healthy. Because. <laughs> um, Obviously eating is something they look forward to in the day, so mm -hmm. we've got to make sure we keep them happy. Nina mentioned all the dietary, so we've got a few pescatarians, a few vegetarians, so we've got to make sure there's their option. Vary the menu, so I try to uh, menu plan for the week. <laughs> <laughs> so she writes out her menu, uh, much like I do with guests. I always try and you know vary my proteins, vary the starches. Yeah, vary also, the type of cuisine. The type of cuisine, so we're not always eating uh, Mexican or eating Asian, you know, Thai. Yeah, so. changing it up. It's important to change it up and keep it interesting, but it's also important to cook foods that they recognise sometimes. Yeah. Effort food, stuff that they know. I wanted to keep it interesting for myself mm. as well as for them. They'll want something that they recognise, but I'll also sometimes want to cook stuff that I've never done before, so that I'm learning as well. So it's finding that balance. Well, we don't have guests on board, so it's only crew on board. So I am able to help Tilly. So when we have guests on, we work about 14, 13 to 14 hours a day. But when we don't have guests on, it's more of like a normal work day. So it's like seven, eight, eight hours. hours. Yeah. yeah. for lunch today, a bit of mahi mahi. Of course, uh, the current trend on board. Everyone is loving a soup right now, so we're doing a soup du jour. Soup today is um, bolita. So that's it here. It's um, we don't actually have much hob space, so we also use a grill as a hob. So that is a lovely bean and kale soup that Chili's made there. Even though it is rough, crew have to eat. Um, no one's been that seasick. We take seasickness tablets. Don't we? Religiously, yeah. Religiously. Every morning we come in. Do we have a whole one? Do we have a half one? We're like, hmm. Let's just pop the pill yeah. and be sure. So 
Tilly, what is with crew lunch today? So, so we're doing banh mi's. We've made some lovely rolls. Why? Yeah. Now I'm gonna ask, why are we doing banh mi? Oh, I watched your video <laughs> where you were making banh mi's and one of the crew members just started yelling banh mi's really loud and we thought, right, we need to make them. <laughs> so do you cook everything the crew asks you? I try to. It's really important to ask them what they feel like and then kind of go off that because sometimes they request stuff that's just not possible. Fish and chips is not possible in our fryer. <laughs> this is a very tiny fryer. Oh god. Some lettuce cups that we've done veggie because the girls love a bit of a healthy option, which we've done with egg, so rolled green beans, mange tout, and a lovely apple cucumber poppy seed salad. Apple cucumber poppy seed, that is a beautiful salad right there, that is. Mm. Oh yeah, and then the little salad. salad. Everyday salad. Everyday a garden salad. Yeah. A chef salad. What's gotta be in that? So that salad really needs to have honey nuts. Honey nuts and avocado. Because they're the crew favourites, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. We have different traditions, to, so not traditions. Oh, yeah. yeah, like uh, weekly foods. Like on a Friday, we'll do brunch because if we've got weekends off, then we're cooking weekend food at brunch is something quite quick and easy. Yeah. And then Tuesdays is often tacos. Yes. Yeah, we try to. Mondays, because we're often provisioning. Oh yeah, we'll be like a soup and like make your own sandwich. Mm. Yeah, the boys love that. Yeah, love a yeah. DIY sandwich, sandwich day. day. It's yeah. always the random thing. <laughs> <laughs> so they love it. They're like, who can build the biggest one? So, fried chicken. Works for us. And fried egg. <laughs> yeah. And steak on the same sandwich. Yeah. And ham. Happy days. Yes, we do a soup every day. Uh, it helps us to use up leftovers and it's a nice healthy option for the crew to go for. Oh, the bread rolls are almost done. Check out these. Look at this. Look, if you're doing soup, you gotta have bread. There's a timer for it. vegetarian so we always try and make sure we include a vegetarian option that has a source of protein in it so this one's chickpeas if not we use beans eggs quinoa quinoa tofu 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 when we do asian so yeah falafels fruits try and bake something so here we have some apple cinnamon streusel muffins put a bit of kombucha out the crew enjoy it it's healthy they yeah they love it mm. 
Happy Friday! Happy Friday! So what is special about Fridays? Special thing about Fridays is weekend food. <laughs> so it's great because we get the weekend off, but it's not so great because Fridays, there's a lot of cooking going on. So we have to cook the meals for lunch on Saturday, lunch on dinner, yeah, basically four meals. And Friday night. Yes. Yeah. A lot of food. A lot of food going on. This is the scenes. So we've got our menu here. So we cook everything off, let it cool down. There it is, some gnocchi, some more roast veg. And then what happens? Then we box it all up, label it up, and leave it all in the gammy fridge for the crew to be able to come and help themselves over the weekend. We got. So this is the fridge when it's all packed up for weekend food, well, with weekend food. It's all labeled, nicely packed in there. We have a menu up here. Happy Friday! Happy weekend, guys! We do get a lot of questions about leftovers, and particularly about guest food leftovers. Yes, if there is food leftovers from the guests, it does go down for crew, uh, provided it's, you know, not something that's half eaten. <laughs> Within yeah. reason, you know, the crew do, do get that and they love it because it usually is, you know, the more expensive type of product, so it's yeah, quite nice. Yeah, spoiled. But what is their favourite meal? So. That's tricky. What do they ask I for think, the most? What do they request? Pizzas the most burgers. Yeah. Pizzas, burgers. It's one or the other, pizzas yeah. or burgers, but, but they love Yeah, both of those bagels. Especially a, burger. a fish burger. Actually, yeah, you're yeah, right. In Alaska. Yeah. I feel like there's something else that they request. Oh, they like a toasty. They do like a toasty, a soup and a toasty. <laughs> the soup. Majority of the crew on board are English. Yeah. Um, obviously, I've worked on boats where the, and I'm sure you have as well, where the crew are a lot more varied. You know, you have Germans, you have Filipinos, you have Croatians, yeah. and then you really have to to accommodate their different cultural backgrounds in the in the food that you make. Yeah, so, that's true. But this food is pretty uh, pretty straightforward, pretty, pretty Anglo. Yeah. For the whole crew to have similar taste makes things easier yes definitely yes that is right guys thank you for watching this edition of galley diaries and i hope you enjoyed seeing a bit more of the crew food and a bit more of tilly who's you know my number one gal in the galley we spend a lot of time together we spend a lot of time together. <laughs> we slowly are becoming the same person <laughs> if you have any questions about crew food make sure you comment them below and we will try and get back to you but for now that's goodbye make sure you hit subscribe and see you next time bye